Hi, we're at the Greenville Convention Center at Annual Conference 2018 and in the Digital Lounge. And I'm here with Pat Watkins, who's a retired missionary for Creation Care. And welcome, Pat. Thank you. Um, I read in your information that you were a missionary in Nigeria from 1995 to 1998. What was it specifically about that time in Nigeria that made you connect faith to Creation Care in such an important way in your life? Well, it was a pretty significant time because of that. Um, it was because we lived in a really tiny, isolated village in the middle of nowhere, essentially, so that we, we had to live life in conjunction with how the earth lives its mm. life. Like, we couldn't have mangoes unless they were in season. We, you know, we couldn't go to the market and buy one from South America. And in our part of Nigeria, there was a rainy season and a dry season. And we would go to the, to the big city to buy supplies periodically, but we had to go in the dry season. We couldn't go in the rainy season because the rivers would fill up mm. with water. There were mm -hmm. no bridges. And when they got too deep to drive through, you couldn't go anywhere. So we, we were forced to live life the way the earth lives its life in a way that I had never experienced before. I think people who grew up on farms maybe understand that, but for me, a city boy, never experienced yeah. that before. And so, and then not only was I able to tolerate such an existence, there was something just really wonderful about it to me. And, and so, as time went on, I began to ask, well, this newfound relationship I have with the earth, is there anything that my faith has to say about that. In other words, is there any connection between this relationship with the earth that I'm experiencing and my faith as a Christian? And long, long story later, I answered it, absolutely, yes, there was. How could we learn from that lesson and implement some of those, uh, uh, maybe a simple change here in the United States in support of creation care? Um, that's a hard question, and particularly the simple part of it is mm -hmm. hard. I think um, I can give a bit of a simple answer, but it's, it's not very easy to pull off. Like, I think, um, I think oftentimes people, people think, well, if I recycle or get rid of styrofoam, then that's a, a thing that I can do, and that's great and wonderful. But, but for me, the answer to your question is, we need a fundamental shift in how we understand God's creation and our role in it. Mm -hmm. In other words, creation, we, ha we have to shift from a human-centered, me-centered understanding of creation as something that provides me with a lot of wealth um, and a big bank account to a God-centered perception of creation that exists not just for me, but for everybody else and all other creatures and on throughout the future. And that's hard. That's yeah. hard to try to think about that shift. A deeper way of living. Yeah, yeah. just a whole different understanding of that relationship. Yeah. Well, what do you see other churches and denominations do um, that we might take a cue from in terms of creation care? Um, the first thing I think about is the Presbyterian oh. Church. They have a... Um, they have a denominational organization called Presbyterians for Earth Care, which is really pretty cool. And so I, um, we've had some conversations among United Methodists about do we, do we need such an organization ourselves, kind of a denominational organization that focuses on creation care. Um, so that's one thing. Individual churches are doing just gazillions of things. It's hard for me to just give you an exhaustive list, but mm -hmm. um, from church gardens to political advocacy to interfaith um, conversations to biblical theological studies and Sunday school classes and small groups. Um, United Methodist Women just recently did a study on climate justice at their Mission U for two mm -hmm. years, 16 and 17. So we're doing just a whole host of things, which is really, really good and wonderful and hopeful to me. Yes. Well, if you were to look 10 years into the future, what would be your hope for the denomination moving forward, how we approach faith and creation care? So sort of two things, I think, because I've been a missionary to creation um, through the General Board of Global Ministries, I think my hope for global ministries would be that we'd have creation care missionaries all over the mm. world that are full-time paid 
missionaries, um, my hope for the denomination is that we'd begin to understand that creation care is, is more of a core theological value of who we are as disciples of Jesus Christ rather than seeing creation care as sort of a the fringe element of the church. You know, I like to think of, you know, sometimes we think of those those greenies that are they're the Birkenstock wearing yeah. crowd over in the corner of the fellowship hall complaining about styrofoam. You know, so we have to have more of a a central understanding that a part of who we are as Christians has to do with our relationship with God's creation and then how we care for for it given that relationship. Oh, great. Well, I appreciate you sharing that. Now, uh, for a personal question, yes. what is your favorite room in the house and why? It's my workshop. Um, my wife and I have just built a house, a small passive solar house in Pittsburgh. And I have a workshop. We lived in New York City in, and in Atlanta. And so for several years, I was without a workshop. And I hate to admit this, but I am a car guy. So I like oh. to do mechanic stuff. And I like to do woodworking stuff and furniture making stuff. And so I have been without a workshop for some years now. And now I have my workshop back and I just love it. Oh, I'm that's just great. in heaven in my yeah. workshop. So yeah, Wonderful. that's absolutely my favorite room. Good. Yeah. All right. Well, thank you for sharing time sure. with us. We appreciate it. And that's the Digital sure. Lounge for today.